Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles, and this is vlog number five. Well, first and foremost, I want to apologize for not making videos for the last couple of days. Valentine's Day, I want to spend that with the wife. The next day before that, I just got really busy. Um, and I've also been kind of lazy lately. Uh, the diet's been going okay. I've cheated a couple times, um, and I'm feeling it, man. Let me tell you, uh, uh, I actually have something called gout. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, but it's, it affects your joints and stuff, and it's heavily affected by what you eat. I was eating healthy for like two weeks. I felt better than I ever had in my life. I go back to eating like shit for one day, and man, I'm feeling it. Well, at least I've been slightly productive. Here we have uh, one of the brackets for the simulator. This is the one that holds the butt kicker bracket under the seat. And uh, I've already printed some of the other brackets. You guys have already seen this one. And I also have the bracket that goes here on the back that I still need to install later on today. So I'm actually looking forward to that. I don't have all the brackets printed, but I have at least one of each of the different types of brackets printed. So I should be able to test fit some stuff and play around with it a little bit. So hopefully in a couple of days we'll be able to get the first video up that's a review of the butt kicker um, transducers and the new amplifier. And for all you guys wondering, 3D printing is messy business. You can see I have brackets everywhere. I've got PLA fibers everywhere. Um, I really need to find a better way to manage this because, man, I get this nerd cave really, really messy. So here was one of my first attempts at printing the center bracket. And I ran into a problem. You can see how rough it looks. This is what happens when material doesn't feed smoothly to the printer. Is basically you get all these little gaps and bubbles and places where the material starts and stops. And as you can see, it broke off because it makes it brittle. I mean, you can literally just grab it and probably just about snap it. Ugh! Ugh! If you weren't so weak like me. Hey, check it out. I got my new pair of pivot head, guys. So now I can record on the go and I got my POV stuff going on. So uh, hopefully I can start using these in the iRacing videos that I'm going to be doing on the simulator so you guys can kind of get a look at how I look at my uh, three screens here. Also, look what else I got. It's a pebble. Remember this little piece of shit that I'm never going to use? Guys, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to review this. I'm basically going to take it out of the box, make sure it works, and then sell it because pebble r rubbed me the wrong way. This company absolutely has shit tech support, takes forever to get a new one if you have a problem. The forums are just overwhelmed with people that had problems with the first runs of these, and the company doesn't look like they're doing a very good job addressing it. So I will never deal with Pebble again. Well, now I'm headed to coffee with Chris Perillo. If you guys don't know him, he's the locker gnome guy, and I guess I think it was back in the 90s, he was on a TV show called Call for Help. They, if you're any kind of nerd like me, you'll be familiar with the show. I've actually just got the camera sitting on my dashboard. I wonder how well it'll work just sitting there. Uh, but hell, you gotta try new things, right? Yeah, the camera's not staying put. Ah! If I get in a wreck and die in a horrible fireball from trying to vlog while I'm driving, way worse than texting while you're driving. Um, tell my family I love them. I'm actually uh, pretty excited about this. This will be cool. This will be the first uh, other YouTuber I've met, other than Tim, who I actually work with, so that doesn't really count. We both work at Microsoft. Uh, so this will be the first person I've never met in real life before YouTube. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully he doesn't uh, pull out a gun and like double tap me. Oh, is this, are we showing the technique here? <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're like brothers. <laughs> So we're we're that look like eyes. I'm not used to somebody else pointing at me. <laughs> really? <laughs> Camera's. <laughs> hey, look at this guy. He's real. I thought he was CGI all these years. I am CGI. <laughs> Y'all know this guy? <laughs> Probably not. Really? I doubt it. You don't. You don't know who this guy is? Everybody knows who this guy is over no here, one though. No knows who this guy is. This is really. <laughs> Kind of creeping me out now. I know, this is weird because they're the exact same camera. Here, let's just point them at these people. There we go. Hey, what's up, guys? A couple of our friends. Stalkers, if you will. <laughs> so, we were just hanging out here at the coffee shop for the past couple of hours. Yep, sure, I'll just the, stand by you. This isn't creepy at all. Hey, how's it going, Chris? How's it going? Well, it wasn't creepy. For a this is Barnacles Nerdgasm. This is Chris Perillo. And I know you can see me because it's a wide angle lens. Over oh, this there. is mega wide angle. Wait, can we hang on? Wait. Is there like a mirror that we can show, like a reflection of what it looks like? Well, I don't know. There's a period. Starbucks. Uh, or no, this isn't a Starbucks. Period. Oh shit! No, I'm gonna get killed for saying that, that now. Uh, so 
<laughs> we came up with an idea, I guess collectively, that we're going to get together with uh, the help of some artificial substance. No, I guess they'd be natural substances. Yes. Uh, <laughs> natural. To help. Yeah, we're not drinking the wood alcohol. Do, so it's going to be along those lines. Wasn't well, that natural too? <laughs> I don't know. It depends I, on if it came really... from Ikea particle board or not. <laughs> you can do that? This guy can do anything. That's He's true. Got a, a channel. I would say uh, you, you do everything, really. You're, you're I'm a mechanic, jack of all trades. Yep, mechanic. Software developer, yep. 3D printing fanatic. Yep. Not any one thing, many things. A geek geek is yep. what I guess I would call I even tile kitchens. Yeah, but he, he does it his own way, so I wouldn't necessarily suggest that you hire him as a handyman, but he's got some really cool stuff in his YouTube channel, and he's vlogging now, too. Yeah, using the same camera. The, well, not exactly the same camera. Yeah, they're close enough. He didn't replicate it or anything, it just came from the same company. And so uh, the idea is, uh, at some point in the near future, we're going to be sitting around uh, my dining room table, I believe, and just kind of nerding out over various yeah. nerdy, geeky yep. things. And I think, will you two be joining us as well? Of sure. course. Tad and Lindsay, and I met Absolutely. these two eons ago on FriendFeed, and they're both pretty active on Google+, Plus, or I'd say active yep. enough, so yep. don't say that you know you don't know anybody on Google+, because now you do. And I just <laughs> met them today. It's, it's, and we just, we, we were talking for, yeah. we got together, what time this morning? 11.30. 11.30, it's about 2.30. Yeah, Jeez. so we're going to, and we were, the whole time, Just I don't think we had a moment of silence. Yeah, it turns out this guy's actually fairly interesting in real life. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, fooled me. I thought I was going to show up for 20 minutes, drink a talk, coffee, and be like that and asshole and get up and walk away. Being complimentary. <laughs> hey, I'm just being I honest, Chris. Right. I was like, I, fig I figured I was going to show up and this guy was going to just be a total dick. And no, he's actually a nice guy. <laughs> he is. Well, that's because awesome. I knew you had the camera running. That's, that's what it is. Actually, he even got me into vlogging. Boys. So if you're watching this video, you have to thank him for that. Uh, is that right? Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. 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 Don't be an asshole, Chris. I won't. All right. <laughs> Well guys, the weather is really shitty today. Luckily, hopefully there wasn't a bunch of wind on that uh, last little clip. Um, but yeah, no, that was cool. Turns out uh, Chris Perillo, he's a hell of a nice guy. Uh, we met here at the coffee place at like 11.30. I thought we were gonna talk for like a half an hour or so. Turns out that we talked for, God, almost four hours, three and a half hours. No, it was awesome. And uh, he, he had really cool friends there. It was... <laughs> That was awesome, and I honestly, honestly didn't think that uh, it was going to be that cool. So we're gonna we're gonna do something uh, together, a collaboration, if you will. Uh, Got to kind of work around um, Chris and my schedule a little bit, but we'll get we'll get something set up, and it's going to involve some alcohol and some fun conversation, probably in a live stream format, just like we were saying before. But now I'm back in the car. I'm gonna try to head home, and I'm gonna try to get you guys a video. Hopefully, it's not just this vlog. I want to get you guys an actual bona fide video, even though this is a video. Well, you, you know what I mean. Anyway, it's a video involving some kind of thing other than me just driving around and meeting people. All right, anyways, you guys get the gist of it. I'm going to turn the camera off while I drive home so that uh, I don't wreck and kill myself. Well, guys, I'm back to home sweet home, or I should say the nerd cave. That was a fun little outing. It was cool to get out and meet somebody new and have some coffee. And uh, Chris and his friends were, were awesome. Honestly, uh, I look forward to hanging out with them and doing some stuff in the future. So... I owe you guys a video, and I've owed you guys a video for days. So, I think I'm gonna go and start recording the butt kicker project you guys have been waiting for. It's not done by any stretch of the imagination, but I figure we'll do it in a series of videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. Man, this is driving me crazy, guys. I got rage in OCD. I try not to fight it, but for some reason, when things are out of place in the room, like I got the camera sitting right there, I got the simulator pulled out, I got all this crap laying on the floor, laptops, cables everywhere, it makes it so hard for me to make a video. I like, I gotta clean it up. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna spend a little time cleaning because I think the end resulting video, not this video, but the video I'm gonna make while I'm making this video, should be a little bit better. Fingers crossed. Hey, you guys want to see how I vacuum seal my PLA that I'm not using? Well, not just PLA, ABS and PLA. I take a straw, stick in the edge. Just like so. Now, the downside is I probably got cancer from doing that. But the plus side is I saved my roll of PLA in case I don't use it for a while. Winning! I just recorded a whole bunch of sound bites for an upcoming secret project. I'll keep you guys posted when I know more.
God, I love Roombas. Well, today's been a productive day. You guys can see down here, I've got the mounts on the simulator. Well, I've got four of them. I still need to mount a fifth one. You can see one more down there. So, all that's left to do is print one more mount, get it on there, get everything bolted down, and then I can wire some stuff up and do a little bit of testing. But there's still a lot more to be done. Once I get everything bolted up to the simulator, I'm going to go ahead and make sure Fitment is good. Once Fitment's good, then I'm going to start talking to some people about having these plans milled out of aluminum. And if the price is astronomical or I can't get help in printing these things in metal, then I'm going to do one of two things. Either we're going to have a video series on building a cast and pouring our own aluminum or steel or whatever the hell I can get my hands on. Um, or I may even take them and cut up the pieces and go and weld together my own out of uh, plate steel since the, pl since the designs aren't ridiculously complex. I should be able to do that. So I've got some things to think about. And I gotta figure out how to mount this big old bad boy on here without the electronics blowing out on it every time these things punch me in the back. Because they are 250 watt power handling. And I've got five of them. This is gonna be an earthquake. Probably gonna piss off the wife, but I don't play iRacing that often. I just wanna play it for like an hour a day or so. So I'm not looking to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. I'm just looking to make it around the track and not wreck too many people. A lot of stuff goes into making these videos, guys. If you look, I got audio equipment down here. I got my camera there. Uh, the simulator, I got to move that around in this tight area and get everything fit. I got to put everything away and clean this room up. Actually, God, it's still pretty messy, but you should have seen it before I started. Uh, so anybody out there that says that YouTube is easy, forget about it. Well, I think it's about time to wrap up vlog number five, you guys. I had a great day. I woke up. I was a little sore because, like I said, I ate horribly yesterday. Yeah, I went to Red Robin. Don't worry, the diet's still on. I just yeah, I got a little off beaten track. But I woke up hurting like hell because eating all that junk food made me sleep like crap. And I woke up, all my muscles hurt. I felt dehydrated. Anyways, I'm back on the wagon. Tonight we're having rice and fish. So don't worry. Still going to lose the weight, guys. I'm going to lose it. But anyways, back on track, I woke up, I got to go meet a really cool person, Chris Perillo, and, uh, and two of his friends, and it was an awesome experience. Chris is a great guy. Uh, it's one of those things where you see people on the internet, and you see him really successful. He was on a TV show, and, you know, uh, I think like in 2000 and something, uh, called Call for Help. And, you know, I guess you immediately assume that they're just, they're just going to be like, you know, kind of like assholes. You think, well, they're going to think that they're better than everyone else. And uh, I can tell you with Chris, that's not the case. I went and met him. That's, he, he is the easiest going guy I've ever met. He's funny. He's a blast to hang out with. Hell, we sat and drank coffee for three and a half hours and just chatted about insane shit like Doctor Who and Star Wars. And I think I even called Star Wars Star Trek. And he caught me. And that was embarrassing. But at any rate, he's a way down to earth guy. Um, him and his wife just recently got pregnant and just announced that too, and that's absolutely amazing, and I have no doubt the dude's going to be a stellar father. But we are looking to do some stuff together, and that's cool because I, I feel comfortable after talking to a guy for three and a half hours that he's going to be a great guy to collaborate with, and he's going to be a lot of fun just to hang out with. So guys, dinner's almost ready. The wife's making, I think we're having halibut and rice and a bunch of veggies tonight. So yeah, no more Red Robin. Okay, I know I fell off the wagon. I fell off. We're okay though. We're, we're back on. I promise. I prompt no I'm just kidding for reals so I'm gonna wrap up this vlog before it ends up being a half an hour long and I'm gonna eat my dinner come back and sit in front of this computer right here and I'm gonna edit me two videos for tonight two it's gonna be a vlog and the simulator video so watch them both all right guys laters I have no idea why I did that I just felt compelled to I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.